think this was an opportunity to bring together industry leaders uh, for the first time at mid-season and then understanding uh, what does the future realistically hold for the rest of the year. And as I think you saw in the first session, um, you have to be optimistic to be in snow sports. Uh, but we temper that with some realistic expectations regarding what we can achieve given what's on the books for our current lodging and also what we're seeing in terms of the visitation patterns. So collectively, I think our wisdom informs us that we're probably going to have an average season overall, maybe slightly below, maybe slightly above if we get lucky in February and March. But none of us are expecting the record season. And we're all stinging from the contrast of the 2010-2011 record euphoric season and then the 2011-2012 abysmal season. And that's a nice learning lesson for us as an industry collectively. You've already seen a lot of resorts have learned from 2011-2012 and they've implemented pretty serious cost-cutting measures in terms of controlling for operational expenses. So despite the fact you might see an environment in which visitation is challenging, I think you're going to see profitability is actually either the same or up significantly because of that cost-cutting measures on the other side. Uh, we've also realized we have to be much more sophisticated in our snow messaging. You saw that repeatedly uh, at the first sessions, uh, and that's particularly important for our destination resorts. It's also very important for generating that local visitation, which is a significant breeder for the destination guest. Huge. The year-round sustainability issue is a thorny question because it's highly idiosyncratic to the resort you find yourself operating. If you're a small uh, resort close into an urban environment, you may not have a lot of amenities currently in place that are going to appeal in the summertime to your base guest. If you're a large resort like a Vale or an Aspen or a Whistler, there's a ton of energy you bring to that equation from the biking standpoint, from the other activities like the zip line, hiking, touring, cultural tourism and heritage. Uh, it really depends on the specific resort. But even the littlest guy can think about their operation and say, okay, what have I got that I can capitalize given the energy in my existing base? And I think that's one of our messages.